Hello everyone, welcome again to another amazing learning journey with Teacher A. And for this time, we'll be dealing with teachers. I know that my teacher followers here miss me a lot uh, because we had our video lessons before intended for the online distance learning and other modalities that we offer. But for this time, allow me to share uh, my output for IPCRF means of verification. Alam ko na dun sa IPCRF natin, we, teachers are required not just to submit MOV such as your lesson plan or materials and even your uh, classroom observation rating. Teachers are also tasked for this particular school year also to develop or write their own reflection on a formula that we had here. Actually, this would be a teacher reflection form. As mentioned in the name itself, reflection will be given the opportunity to provide our own perspective. Now, for this time, let us have objective 9. For the objective 9, we, had, we have designed, adopted, and implemented teaching strategies that are responsive to learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents. Now, for this objective, we'll be dealing with the learning disabilities. Now, for the context, the DEPET provided here context that Clara is often seen as restless or unfocused in class. She also has trouble following instructions and skipping activities when left unsupervised. Now, the action taken for that would be uh, you had a conference with her parents and found out that found out from them that Clara was diagnosed with a learning disability. Now, this would be the task for the teachers. How will you modify the instructions for Clara to keep her focus on classroom activities? Write your reflections in this form and mention in your reflections as well the specific learning disability that you are familiar with or have researched. Now, the main target of DEPED, why they provided this one, if you haven't experienced having students with disabilities, therefore, for this time, DEPED will be giving you a situation for you to identify yourself as teacher for that time and how you can cope up with that particular uh, circumstances. Now, this would be my annotation or my reflection. Okay, educational system has been subject for continuous development. Hence, learners and learning environment were gradually adopting and adopting to changes as well. Teachers are guided by different pedagogical practices acquired from pre-service trainings and sponsored seminars. For this part, in my first paragraph, I included a brief introduction of course, of what we are doing in the educational system and what are the problems that we encounter. I also included here the definition of learning disability and also uh, what are the challenges or the misconceptions of learning disability. In order to support my claim here, I got it from Association of Higher Education and Disability. Uh, you can browse the internet. There are a lot of references and resources for that so that your reflection would be valid. Then for the second paragraph, I included a particular or specific learning disability. For this time, as a language teacher, I included oral and written language disorder and a specific reading comprehension deficit. Then, uh, I provided definition for that. Of course, I also researched from the internet. We cannot uh, fabricate or, or we cannot craft our own definition without any basis. Then, for the last paragraph, I included here what are the modifications that you can include uh, upon the problem you encountered to Clara here. You can post po ang ating video. You can pause it for a while if you want to read the, the content. Okay. That will be for our teacher's reflection form for objective 9, prompt 1. Then I also have here another teacher's reflection. I submitted to my master teachers the objective 10. 
uh, which is adopted and used culturally appropriate teaching strategies to address the needs of learners from indigenous people. Now, this would be very applicable if you are teaching in a school wherein there is no identified indigenous people. Okay? Therefore, our task is to design a lesson plan for the class that integrates aspects of indigenous people's culture that it was under these references. Now, in my reflection form, again and again, of course, in the very beginning, I included uh, the, uh, the introduction for the RPMS IPCRF and even the modalities that we cater for this particular school year. And on the second paragraph, I included here uh, the CO tool for rating, which is the uh, for the identifying for the objective 10. Then I also included here uh, that I had an online class with my particular section here, Grade 8 Mabait, wherein I included lessons about indigenous people in Pampanga, which is the ITAS to be exact. Now, discussing in the lesson their unique culture and the way of living in mountainous, mountainous area of Arayat and other municipalities of the said province. I included here our local indigenous people, uh, which is the, or which are the ITAS, our co family, co Kapampangan here. Then, how can I do that in this particular lesson of covering figurative language? I instigated the analysis of underlying meaning of Aitas are Filipinos who share the same heart of their country and family, wherein I included it in a slide presentation. Then, that will be my springboard for that. Then, of course, I highlighted the part of submit a DLL. Don't forget to do this one. You need to highlight the DLL here, the part, and you can also include it in the presentation that you have that one. Now, that will be all for my sample presentations here. Feel free to pause the video if you really wanted to read the content. Thank you so much. Once again, happy learning to all.